So it is the 1st of October and we have literally just collected the keys for what is currently a top secret project I'm working on called Project X. So here at Gymshark it's been a crazy, crazy year. I haven't been too consistent with the uploads, but now, believe me, we're going to be a lot more consistent. Now, James is here. All right. <laughs> who's helping me out with videos on Instagram, YouTube, and all that sort of thing. So I'm really excited to be working on that. While the main purpose behind this video is because we are embarking on the biggest project probably ever in terms of a premises point of view for Gymshark. We did GSHQ, which I did the videos on probably six or 12 months ago now, and that was insane. And in terms of adding value to the culture and the back end and the staff of the business, it's been just out of this world, genuinely out of this world. The, just having GSHQ in this building has changed the way that the business has run. So here we are, it's now February 2019. We have been in this office for, off the top of my head, six to eight months, and so much has changed in that time. When we first came in here, we had 150 staff, and I remember on our lanyards, we had the little 150 thing, thinking, oh my God, there's so many people in the business. And now, a few months later, we're at 270 in this office. We've got, obviously, the Hong Kong office, so there's a load of people out there. As we continue to grow the business, there's so many different things going on. Long term, we see Gymshark as being more than clothing. You know, we want to be more into accessories. There's been talks of footwear and things like that. Because we want to push our product really hard. We need a proper R&D facility, you know, within touching distance so that myself and the team can be sat down there and we can be trying to uncover and decide the future of our product, particularly in the apparel and the clothing side of things. As well as that, we also need space for our event storage. And again, that's somewhere else. And just at the moment, we've got a lot of moving parts and they're all in separate places. Now, that created a little bit of a problem for us and we wanted to bring that all together. Now, I know this might sound a bit cryptic right now and you're probably not following along as easily but hopefully through this video you will find out a lot more because what I'm describing is a new project which in comparison to even this GSHQ project is huge and that project is known internally as Project X. I know with the GSHQ video I was very careful with what I showed in the uploads I wanted to make it a real cool surprise for the staff and that ended up going really well. Project X however we're going to be a lot more open both with you know the team here and with you guys around the world. So in front of me right here, I have the floor plans, I have a, a list of materials and everything that is going to be in Project X. Now, just over here, there is a huge warehouse, basically. And we are gonna be renovating that into the new GSLC, otherwise known as Gymshark Lifting Club. In there is gonna be a bunch of things. We're gonna be having the things that we need, such as event storage. There's gonna be a gym in there, which without a doubt will be the best gym that we've ever been to. And believe me, we've been to some gyms around the world. In terms of doubling down on our investment in the product, we're gonna be putting a small innovation center slash factory in here. So we will actually be able to come up with an idea one day here, literally run over the road, and we'll be able to start producing samples of the product the same day. We're gonna be having seamless machines in there. So obviously a lot of the women's leggings, the men's tops, socks, things like that. It's essentially a full sample room as well as an R&D and innovation center. And I think this is really gonna be huge in terms of us step changing our product and genuinely making it the best fitness wear in the world. The gym, actually inspired by Gold Gym in Venice, which is you know the mecca of bodybuilding, we've got an outdoor area as well. The weather isn't quite as good in Birmingham as it is in LA, but either way, during the summer, I think that'll be really cool. We've got a 100-person auditorium, and we have an app studio where we'll be recording all of the footage for our new upcoming app. We are also building in a mezzanine, and that is hard work, believe me. So upstairs, there will be four studios. Obviously, we have got one down here already, and that's been instrumental to us in terms of getting our product photography as good as what it's gotten recently. There will also be a fifth studio which will have a massive four-sided COVID as well. So yeah, this, this project is huge. I remember when we first started GSHQ and we were thinking this is the biggest project we've ever done. At this time, Paul and his team are a little bit more aware. They, you know, they know how to run this sort of thing. Sean and the guys at Octra um, know what we want. They know our sort of style. So this one's running a little bit more smoothly, even though it is a bigger project. There's going to be problems as ever along the way. And I think with the GSHQ project, I didn't really go too deep into those issues. Whereas this time I really want to bring you along the project with us. 
So rather than me just talking through this, because we've got the building now and work has actually begun, I think we should fly over there, have a look and uh, show you guys around the very beginning of Project X and soon to be GSLC, the Gymshark Lifting Club. So here we are, this building will be Project X aka GSLC when it's actually finished. Um, I don't know if you can see but far over there is where GSHQ is, so it's only going to be like, you know, a short walk or we might, you know, try to do like a campus thing, get a little golf buggy or something like that to nip between the two. It's obviously just completely blacked out, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I think what we're going to do with the logo is probably just have GSLC with the shark head after and just stick it on the front so it'll look super cool and stealth. Um, this area here that you can see currently behind the green fencing will be a combination of like lorry loading and stuff like that and obviously the outside gym area as well. Um, so yeah, let's go take a look. So this will all be the downstairs sort of entry area. You'll have, a, and I think the 3D design's already done for this over there, you'll have like a dark walkway through like we currently have in GSHQ. Then it'll take you obviously out there and through to the gym or upstairs into the office space. This will be the upstairs office space. Obviously it's a bit office -y at the moment, but we'll sort that out as we go. And from here, if you look out here, you'll get a view at GSHQ as well. So and it's literally, you know, pretty much next door, which is nice to have everything nice and close. Well, as you can see, I've got my uh, PPE on as it's a building site. And um, so yeah, through this door, you'll have the stairway and it'll basically go into a huge open expanse, basically. And I don't know if this will come across on camera, but the vastness of this place is insane. It's absolutely huge. So hopefully this will give you an idea. So we are walking down now into what will be the gym area. And here we go. This is it. Not much to see at the moment, but it's absolutely huge. I think, and I'm not 100% sure, I think this is around 32,000 square feet at the moment. Obviously when we stick the mezzanine in, that'll basically double. So. Yeah, it's uh, huge, even bigger than GSHQ. So this, where we're standing, will be the gym area, and then you'll have these two lorry loading bays, which will open out to go into the outside gym area. The gym will go just to the edge of that black door, which you can see off in the distance, and then you'll begin to have the open area for the speeches and the factory area as well. So they've been working on digging these out. Look how deep that is. So this is where the steels are gonna go in, which are gonna be holding up the mezzanine floor. Like I said, there's not too much to see right now. It is a bit of a building site, but this will completely change over the next few months. I think we're hoping to get this finished sort of by the end of summer sort of time. So yeah, this in 2019 will be finished. The gym's gonna be amazing. Uh, obviously, all the athletes will be able to use it. Um, staff, we do a lot of like weekly tours of GSHQ as well now. Everyone that's popping in and visiting us will be able to use it. However, I don't think we're going to be opening it up to the public as such. And yeah, I'm really excited for this because what this also does is it gives us the opportunity to test things. We've never had our own gym. We've never had our own, you know, in Birmingham production facility. And what I want to do with this area is I really want to test things and understand how things work in the physical space because obviously the vast majority of what we do is online and long term think about how one day we may have, you know, that physical Gymshark flagship presence, you know, somewhere in the world. So I think a lot of you guys obviously see a lot of the things that we do on the outside and, you know, sometimes you just, it's very difficult for people to really recognise and understand the effort that all the individuals at Gymshark go through to make things a reality. Um, and I'm really excited to bring you guys on this journey. Yeah, if there's anything that you guys want to see in the next video, if you've got any questions, if you've got anything like that, then please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and yeah, thank you again so much for watching.